Do you know that you can create a RFM analysis using Looker Studio? I will show you. Hello, my name is Gala. I am Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gailey Reports. You can find a RFM template in my online store in the e-commerce section. If you click to the report, you can find link to the template page. Let's check what we have here. First of all, we have one page dashboard. On the title of the dashboard, you can see data range. In our case, it's last 12 months, but could be anyone that it's good for you. On the top of our dashboard, we have a sales metric. We can see uh, total revenue, number of purchases, number of users, purchase frequency, average order value, and average revenue per user. You can notice that average revenue per user several times more than average order value. It means that our customers, they do several purchases, usually, like 3 point something, almost 4. This is great. And uh, below this, uh, we can see different segments. For example, second section of our dashboard it's revenue by customer segments and here we can see the champions brought us the biggest part of our revenue uh, on there and we can see a list of our segments so when we know that uh, we can understand with which segments it's better to work and uh, we can apply different marketing strategy for different segments uh, that uh, what i recommend you uh, also, here we have a um, nice pie chart with percentage of revenue and we can see like how much percentage each segment take. Uh, if we scroll down, we can see sales overview by segments. So this is more detailed information, more detailed information about every segment. And we can see that our champions uh, they did a lot of purchases, much more than other clients. Uh, but here we have only 223 users, that it is not so much. And frequency here is 6.48, that is much more than second segment, but it's less than loyal customers, for example. And uh, average order value and average revenue per user we can compare between segments. And based on this table, we can uh, see that we want to move, for example, loyal customers to champions. For that, what can we use for that? For example, here we have 120 customers. Okay, hibernating. Here we have big, uh, a lot, a big amount of customers. So let's think how to work with these customers because they don't do a lot of purchases. So we can work about on frequency and run special marketing campaign for these segments like some retargeting or maybe emails or maybe if you don't have a lot of clients you even call them personally and um, offer something also we have 123 clients at risk um, maybe we should put a bit more attention to these customers and check uh, why do they stop to buy or what happens maybe they're disappointed of something but here we have really good frequency so probably they gave us um so i don't know yeah i recommend you to check and step by step you can check um different type of customers and work in different way with each of them also, we can see revenue um, compared with number of orders in the plot chart uh, and can see the champions here much further from others. So it's, an, uh, uh, it's kind of the same table but other view, other presentation of the same data. Also, we can see master cl uh, clusters and uh, customer segments. So here you can for example i want to check on the promising clients and see how do they work um, and so on or only loyals and let's see 
uh, how it, uh, these data changes with time. So this is it. I think if you have returning customers, uh, I, I find uh, this template is very useful for online stores. So if you're selling something online, I definitely recommend you uh, to create a refer analysis for your business and see how your customers behave. What do we have here more? On the view, on the edit mode, we have two pages. Second page is how to use. Uh, when you buy the template, you will have access to this page and you can see, find some tips from me about this template. Uh, I think nothing interesting here uh, on the edit mode. I just wanted to show you the backend. Backend it is Google Sheets and we have here only one uh, data source. Let's see our Google Sheets. When you buy the template, you receive two documents. You receive Google Sheets with formulas and Looker Studio dashboard. In Looker Studio dashboard, you will have configuration link. Uh, you will receive just like kind of this page and you will have here one button. Uh, create your own copy. That is it. And neither me, neither my team will not have access to your document. Uh, so in Google Sheets, we have several tabs here, but basically what you need to do is open this 0, 0, 001 tab and change this yellow cells to your real company data. Uh, you have help tab where you can read information and um, like some details and what to do, what not to do. If you need this dashboard, like once per month, you can easily update this data manually. You need uh, order ID, date, user ID. I use here a leave comment, but basically it could be any dimension and we, you can add uh, this breakdown to the dashboard. And revenue. Mm, this is typical data for CRM system. If you set up Google Analytics with user ID, even you can take this data from GA. Um, but usually I recommend you to take this data from CRM system because there you can have a real revenue that you receive in fact. Okay, if you need to update this data not often, just copy paste this data manually. If you want to update your data automatically, Oh, every day, every month, every week. Um, if you want to update your data every day, it will be annoying to update it manually. So I really recommend you to use third-party connector services. If you go to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons. And here you can find a lot of different connectors. <clears throat> it will look like this. And you just type here your CRM system and check which kind of connectors do you have for that. I work with three of these guys, Supermetrics, Power My Analytics, and Windsor A. I have some special offers for some of them. Uh, so check my links and see what do you have there. Um, so if you want to update data automatically, you can pull data using connectors, for example, one of these. In this case, you will put data to a separate tab and this data will be updated automatically every day. Or how do you set up it? It could be weekly or whatever. And you just, again, using formulas like here, config B B9, uh, you just pull this data here to this tab, to first tab. Uh, that is it. Other tabs, you don't need to do anything. Uh, this is formulas. Uh, this is second tab we connect to Looker Studio. This customer segments in four. Here, uh, like, how do we split our um, users by segments? Uh, because here you can see um, we can. Uh, 
add some special numbers for each customers. So we say, is it or uh, is, uh, is it? Uh, we add some numbers from one to five for each customers for all three um, parameters, and based on that, we create some uh, common number for them. And uh, this is like library. And here, association table, same information as a way. You can see if it is 555, five, five, it will be champion. If it will be 343, three, three will be potential loyalist, and so on. Here we have macro cluster and customer segments. And um, this tab, here you can see basically how many clients you have for each category. We don't need uh, these tables for dashboard. And for you, it's other, um, other split of uh, your database. You can see that you have, in total, you have 260 champions. Uh, and for each category, you know how many users do you have. And config, this is my tab where I, add, <laughs> I use this tab to randomize data because I cannot use any real data and all these numbers here is a super random and this config tab I used to create these random numbers. That is it. So when you buy the template, you receive Google Sheets and you receive a Looker Studio dashboard. In Google Sheets, you change date, random data to your real data and uh, just copy um, Looker Studio, and that is it. What do I recommend you uh, else? I recommend you to change my logo to your company logo, to change colors. Uh, it, you can do it here in theme and layout. You can extract the theme from image or customize uh, dashboard and uh, update it here. Update colors here. If you are new with Looker Studio, uh, you can ask me and my team to do this work for you. We can do it, absolutely. Uh, we can grant our template for your company. Uh, it is an additional service, but we can do it. Also, if you like this template, but you can say me, tell me, okay, it's perfect, but I have several dimensions. For example, I want to split my customers by 10 stores that I have. Uh, I don't know how to do it. I say, okay, I can customize this dashboard for your real business and it will be an additional services, of course. But anyway, we can use a template as a base and customize it for your business. Here, I think that is it what I wanted to tell you about this template. Hope you like it. It's really nice template for e-commerce. Uh, I think you know it's better than me. <laughs> So let me know if you have any questions, subscribe to my channel and bye bye.